welcome to another class with me. My name is Veronica and for today's class we're gonna teach you how to make two variations of a skirt from a base. And if you want to join me on this tutorial, I'll leave you the link below to download the patterns from this class. I hope you enjoy it and also if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our videos. We're always gonna have nice tips for you to learn on a step-by-step -step method. I hope you enjoy it. So let's begin, shall we? Okay, so if you were able to download the files that we shared under the description of this video, you will have to first step is to import this pattern. So you go to file, import Adobe AI PDF. So you can uh, bring the patterns to this to the area. The second step is to start sewing it to put it together. But if you will use our pattern, you will have to import the avatar Mrs. Trait number six. She's a size six. So you can go right here to library avatar. And the path is, is much more like this. You go to avatar female and size so you have mrs rate and she's a number six so you double click you will have her here and uh, her measures are 72 35 that's the measurements we use for skirt that is her waist and so her hip is 86 57 so these measurements will have to split uh into four parts because we have we're gonna make just the half and then unfold it so it can be symmetric. So you're going to make a quarter of it, a quarter of the front and a quarter of the back and unfold it. So you can have um, symmetric front and back. Okay. So those are, are the measurements we used for a skirt. And uh, so we'll, let's start sewing. To start it, we're going to use the... Um, arrangement points so you could come right here and select this option or shift F from your keyboard you just press and position front let's position the back you turn and click and for this um, waistline we're just gonna put it here okay so and then we need to go to the next step okay so now we're gonna start sewing now let me make it a bit narrower here because I don't have much space. Um, with the M in my keyboard, I'll sew the sides of the skirt and uh, the waistline. That is this one right here. So if I just slide my mouse over it, I can see which direction the sewing will go. So I do not mess up. So it will start right here and go uh, from this middle back all the way around it so press shift and do not release it until you finish sewing all the parts now you can release shift and it's all sewn uh, equally so it will distribute the sew uh, in a more precise way and uh, I have to sew the back and in my keyboard I press N and it's all good also, I need to sew this darts and simulate. You see, it fits perfect. I can uh, use my pressure map. This is the um, strain map. I can see it's a little bit tight on the waist, but that's how it's gonna stay still. I think it's a good one and we could start making it also if you want to make a longer skirt you could just make a 50 centimeter right here i guess we have uh, uh 30 i'm not sure i need to check it let me see if i can see i guess it's 30 oh 21 so oh no it's a 40 so I have a 40 here it's a little bit shorter but usually the pencil skirts have 50 or 55 centimeters long and uh, because we're gonna make uh, use this skirt as a reference I believe it's uh, even shorter here because it's more like in the middle of the tight but I think I will stay with this size I think we're good uh, I can see it's a little bit loose here in the waistline 
but uh, we could adjust that later maybe or maybe not I could just bring it down a bit so it will well let's leave as it is for the for in a first moment so if I'm gonna make this front that's going to cover the front part of my skirt I will use the, the, the front as a reference so I can just copy it Ctrl C Ctrl V and then uh, it's not gonna be an entire front so it will go like half a little bit more than a half of it maybe a quarter so I have just made a point here that would be eight centimeters and eight centimeters I think is just enough and I'll press G from my keyboard that is the same for this internal line up and I'll make an internal line going all the way up so if I want to keep it straight I just press shift and go all the way up double click and release it so I have it already split it I could just right click and select cut but I forgot I have to remove linked editing here because it would cut the other side so I just click over this line and select remove linked editing and I believe this internal line is no longer necessary so I could just remove it and now I can cut and delete this part that I'm not gonna need it so now I have to uh, have in mind that I need to go all the way up to this waistline so I need to bring this this part five centimeters up so I will select it with the Z on my keyboard select both parts and um, I'll press right button and select offset pattern outline so here in the offset pattern outline I have many options I have like mirror that I use to do the hemline but for this situation I'll probably use uh, extend let me check if this is the one um, and I'll put five centimeters up because it will keep the straight light all the way up and this beautiful curve so it will keep going all up and extend and creating internal line it's not necessary right now I usually select this option when I'm doing the hem line so it's not needed and I'll press OK so now I can deactivate this and I can start positioning this right here uh, to make simulation easier and I'll use the free sewing too just to start sewing this front with this uh, front skirt also this part so I could sew it uh, more precisely there is a way that I usually do is that with the sewing tool selected I can see where this sewing really starts it starts right here at this point so I could like position my mouse over here and press X from my keyboard so when I do this what happened is my mouse stops at where we have this point but I already have a point so I'll delete it and make it again so I stop my mouse right here over this little blue dot and press X and now I just right click left click over it and I have a point here so I could just make a line all the way up press G and make an internal line all the way up double click so I know where I will make this uh, continuation where I will sew this continuation so I could just come here and sew this part as well as I could go and sew this other part all the way over here right and uh, if I zoom it I see I didn't get it right I could just press B and correct it click and drag okay uh, you will see that there is a sewing difference of 0 0.21 under my mouse right here my mouse cursor so I just have to drag it and follow that blue dot it will zero so it means it's it's precise sewing and for this sewing I will have it turn it for this one as well turn it 
because I don't want it to be puffy. Yes, um, I think I could simulate and it's not going to look so great, but uh, we can see how it worked. Yes, so we have this area here. Since it's a, it's a more rigid fabric, it's not so well placed, but with the buttons, it's going to settle. So we're going to start applying the buttons. Okay, so I'll select the button tool. Oh, yes, and it's also good to make an internal line right here. So you can have a guide, a line guide, that you could place the buttons in a straight way or at the right place. And if you have doubts, sometimes I like to have this ruler on because just to check if some pattern is at the, the right direction or an internal line so I can check if, if it is straight. Yes? So to activate this ruler, you just go to display environment show ruler and this will show will help you to to just check the information. First we'll start with the button and I'll place it right here. Uh, press the right button so you can just say how distant is it going to be from the hemline. I would say a 3 is okay. And from this edge right here, since we have 8 centimeters apart, I would say maybe a 12. It's too much. 11 maybe. Yeah. So this is a good place. And with the editing tool of the buttons, I will give a Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Uh, press Shift so you can make it straight. And do not let it go. Just right click when pressing Shift. So you will have this box. This box is going to tell you how many buttons you're going to need it. Just let me zoom out a bit. I'm um, going to right click and um, I'm going to say I need four buttons for that picture. Four buttons. So here we we're going to have three and the other ones go on the hem on the waistline. So I would say I need more two buttons and I can check the distance from each button with just looking at it without being so precise so I can just uh, uh, split it or if you want to be precise you could just calculate it this distance and and make it more precise okay so I'm just gonna make it for now uh, an estimate distance and press OK so I already have the buttons and still with this tool selected I'm gonna drag it down Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and when I get here, I need to keep this three centimeters distance. Okay, and uh, the right distance I'm gonna keep it. I guess two, three centimeters is a good one, but I would say two is more closer to what we got there. If it's needed, I could just let me see how distance. This is 2.73. Yes. So I could just do it again. Select Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Um, three centimeters here on the down. 2.73. On the right. OK. And press OK. And now I can just uh, add the one more button right here. That's not going to be the button, it's going to be the button hole. But we're going to fix this. I will still with this to select all the buttons, right click and convert to button hole. Okay, so far so good. We're still missing the the other button up here. So I would say I could make an internal line here going all the way down just to mark it for me. And I could just place the button right here. Right here. 
we'll go with my intuition mm -hmm. and I'll select all these buttons and so when clicking in this option so you can drag select and so with this button holes as uh, the same this one with the first button hole and they will go all the way up so you can see it here and if I press simulation um, it should stabilize oh yeah there's a thing that we do if you want it to go smooth you should just first sew this part with this uh, I would say this part with this front so the simulation uh, the buttons would stabilize more easily and you would then have problems like this that you could just reset 3D position and it's all good I would say we could just uh, extend the sewing area a bit um, like this dragging it a bit to the side so it would be more straight same thing with the button so it would look nicer and now we can delete the sewing line that we made here and see how it goes so now we have a more realistic button folding and uh, just to remove this thing that we have right here we could just uh, slide the button houses a little bit up I would do that just get this three ladies right here and slide them like uh, one centimeter up maybe uh, one and uh, yes it would straighten this area and it would look better so I usually make the fabric a little bit thicker to make more it more realistic with this property with this two thick texture surface I can see the fabric thickness and to me uh, for a real uh, skirt we usually have a double layer so I could just layer clone under for this this part to have another one here under and make a bit more of a volume here and uh, also for this part so I could make it a, a layer clone under for this one as well so it would look more structured fabric yes um, also we need to do what we need to do here is to make the hemline of the base skirt that we haven't done I would usually do I would never deliver a 3D without the hemline that's very important so just click on this line and select offset pattern outline we're gonna use mirror option and I guess for a skirt two centimeters is good create internal line for this option and then we're gonna oops I'm too far away we're gonna offset as internal line where is it yes two is good as well so we have another line right here so we can fold it and sew for the extended area the sewing do not follow so I have to remake it yes yeah, so just with the B of my keyboard I press and slide it down and let's fold the hemline so just press fold rendering 22 is always a good angle for this one and 22 fold rendering and it's okay so we have a hemline here and it's all good we could apply some sewings I usually have some sewings already saved here I usually use this for the hemline and I just have to apply it and it's done it's good it's a pretty intense one I should make it more uh, not so appealing but this would do I could add another one and just um, uh, 
make an offset of it uh, like 1 8 and make it all the way around so if I press the L for my keyboard I will select the free top stitching tool and I could just add right here some uh, sewing that would look great very pretty Yeah, these are very important details so if I double click here for example I apply it all around this pattern but usually it's not uh, like the way it is uh, on the back it usually goes over it and uh, oh yes we missed this spot here that is this front and I think we're good it's beautiful I could now lower the particle distance so we can see oops I think I've messed up I could make it a 5 to see how it's going to be we're gonna have some issues with the fabric okay so to me it looks great I could change the button I could select the button that we have here and choose a more fancy one mm, let's see mm, maybe this one make it a metal and make it gold yeah this is beautiful right so that's it I could just uh, just the fitting of the skirt press it all and slide it down oops slide it down a bit it's because the skirt just gone up And if the button just uh, start going through the fabric, uh, you could just uh, stop simulation, right click over it, and reset 3D. If it doesn't work, you just have to adjust by yourself, like this. It's going through because the uh, here we have a very tight area, so it's pulling the fabric and making the button go through but what you can do is once uh, you're finished you can deactivate um, the collision so it will just stay and not go through unless you are animating it yeah I guess we could make it a bit bigger on this board or if the there is elastic here I could make it stronger and uh, change the fabric of this area but I think we're good and it's a beautiful skirt I could just oh I have loads of fabric here I was testing with uh, shirt on I could just import a shirt from the library I'm just taking too long for this class right as long as you're enjoying just let me know because I'm just using a lot of things here um, let's see this shirt will be nice one have slided my patterns down a bit and select all of this shirt slide it down because she's a bit smaller position it better like this I think we're good and uh, select the skirt and select layer 2 simulate
and it would look great with a skirt on. I could slide it down a bit more. And we're done with the, the first skirt. I think I would uh, just some things here. Maybe the sewing. Because I just slided it too much. With the C of my keyboard. The B, sorry. I can slide it back a bit more. Mm, I think I could go back to the, this internal line. This internal line is marking here because when I layered clone under, it sold with the under part. So I could just delete it because it's no, no longer necessary. So this mark would just disappear. And uh, I think we're good. Yes. Um, okay, I would adjust it better this button. We're gonna go for skirt number two. That is a folded skirt and using this base as a pattern. Yes, let's delete it. I will also deactivate the layer because this green color bothers me a lot. And delete all the buttons. Okay, so using this base, we're gonna make the second skirt and the second card is going to be longer, so we uh, I've just deleted the hemline and now we're gonna extend it. So uh, first thing is that I'm going to delete these internal points. These points, I'm not, I do not need them and uh, I'm going to delete it as well as this internal line. Same for the back. And we're going to select those lines and make it an extend offset as internal line because the skirt is longer, offset pattern outline, sorry. We're going to make an extend and maybe a 10, maybe more, maybe a 20 or a 30. I don't know. Mm, let me see. Um, I could make it perpendicular, I guess this will go better and just adjust it, delete those points. And um, the sewing did not follow along, so I can simulate and just adjust the fabric with simulation on. We have some collision here, which I could just pull, but uh, my particle distance is too low, so I could just return particle distance to 20, because if I pull with 5, it's going to take me longer. So I, Or I could just stop simulation and just slide it back a bit, not so much. And simulate it again so we won't have collisions with the body. And for this fabric, I for this skirt, I'm gonna choose a different fabric. Um, softer one. Because this is too rigid. I would say. It's just for example, okay guys, so you could use the rye fabric. I have many things here. Uh, just nylon featherweight, it's pretty good for the falling, you know, the, the fabric uh, suffering the influence of the gravity. So it have many uh, ruffles, it's a good one for this type of skirt. I could just replace it and we would have a different fabric right here. So all of them and I could delete 
all of those fabrics from the shirt. So we're good. Come on. Okay, so I will, uh, it's a midi skirt. Maybe I could go longer, but I, I will stay with this length. I will just sew the sides better, slide it down with the B of your keyboard. I've already mentioned it before. And simulate it. Now I can just start making the shape of the front because it's going to be a fold. Press G. And to make the curve, you just have to press Ctrl of your keyboard. So you can make this nice curve that I'm creating right now. Double click. And it's beautiful. If you want to make it a little bit more closed, you just, you choose it. Not so revealing skirt. I will delete. So I have one side and you're going to encounter over the knee practically. Um, almost over the knee. So I'll just make the other side. Symmetric pattern with sewing. For this one, this will work. And it's already sewn. It's pretty good. I just have to sew the top of it, which I am going to sew at the same spot as this front, because um, it is a folded skirt. So I could just uh, open this part and make it uh, a knot. It could be, but uh, since we've been taking so long, I just going to use the same uh, waistline. I will just use the same piece of pattern to not take it too long, but we could split it. I will just show it right here and simulate. Now, so for this not to happen, I could have layers on or even place this a little bit further Okay, so we have a really nice skirt, but we have to make something about this. I don't like these edges too much. For me, it's uh, it's not so good. So I'm going to, I could make my back more rounded maybe, like this, bring it down and make a nice curve of it. So I would make use the C of my keyboard to make a curve too and make this nice curve right here so it would go more smooth, you know? And I um, even could go down a bit more. Yes, this is a nice one. And if we want to make something more, something else, um, maybe I could just open the sides a bit to make it more wavy you know, to give it more volume. And also we could um, add some fabric here. Like for this one, I have 58, 83 on this side. And pressing control, I can have the total length right here. So I would have, with the symmetric, I would have 221 centimeters. That's what I will do. Point two, oops, two, and the height would be like uh, seven. I could just make this, and I could make it even bigger, so we would have it more. Um, so it would we would have more ruffles. There are two ways of doing this. So I could make it bigger, so we could have more ruffles. Or even I could use this tool. Uh, where are you? A spiral, yeah? So I would make a spiral, and we also would have some uh, ruffles here. But this is a little bit more difficult. Let's stay with this part. And let's start sewing all the way around it for this one. I should start right here, press M, and I will sew this side, 
to this side of the skirt going all the way around here and all the way down up and to avoid simulation collision I would just right click and select superimpose side so it would arrange all the parts together and I could just simulate it and a beautiful uh, I could just slide it down a bit maybe let me see mm, yeah I guess it's gonna be side but I could slide it down just to help it simulate better oops yeah I should have layer activated <laughs> alright so mm, I might change the fabric where is that one that I'm used to use I can't find it. I guess is this one? Oh. So I, I'll put a layer on it. It will stabilize the fabrics. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Now we can uh, lower the we can lower the particle distance just to check it. I could make it a five and see how it goes. And there it is. beautiful folded skirt okay guys so using just the base that we've got I hope you enjoyed this class please do tell me what you want to learn next and tell me in the description of this video if you really like this class just let me know and we can um, offer some better content for you I hope you enjoyed and bye bye see you next class